Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I'm Mr. Kate, and I'm gonna show you how to think outside the box and do a really unique Valentine's Day card. Today, I'm gonna do a palm reading card. You will read my palm and see that I love you. I was inspired by this book that I got called What Your Hands Reveal, and it's all about palm reading, so I'm gonna interpret that and show you how to do this. Knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. Oh, I'll drop by for a while. I'll help you find your style. We'll laugh. We'll paint. I'm Mr. Kate. Yay! So last year, I did a coded love card, and I just pulled an old page out of an old book, and I circled words and phrases and things on the page that kind of told a love story of sorts, and then I just put some red lipstick on, gave it a kiss, mounted it on a piece of cardboard, and there was my unique Coded Love Valentine's card. The other one I did last year was a Game of Love card. I had these really cool old playing cards, and I used the hearts card, and I punched a hole through it, and I used a heart cutout of cardboard, which I hole punched and stitched with some hemp, and then put them all together, and it was my Game of Love card. You win my heart. So those are just some other ideas for you, but today I'm gonna do the palm reading what my hands reveal love card. First step, I'm gonna age my paper. Now this is my after, and this is the paper I'm gonna use because it's nice and dry. But what I did was I simply took regular printer paper, crumpled it up into a ball, and then I tea stained it, which you could either tea or coffee stain it by putting in some tea in a hot water safe vessel. I like using this leaf tea because as you can see on this, the loose leaf tea left these little spots of color, which just add kind of a really unique texture. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of this instant coffee and then brew it up with some hot water and then unravel your paper, and then you're just gonna quickly dip it in. Careful, make sure the water's not too hot. And then just fully saturate it. And then you can lay it out flat to dry. I'm gonna first start by aging the corners because I want it to look like a piece of parchment or something like that. So I'm gonna tear the edges off my paper. Get out your aggression. No, don't. Stay in the frame of love. And now I think I'm gonna further age it by burning the edges. But as you can see, it just gets near the flame really, really carefully and then let it burn out. Don't let it catch fully on fire. All right, so there we go. There's my burnt edged parchment piece, I love it. Now I'm gonna do my hand design. So I'm inspired by this book and I'm just gonna basically sketch my hand, which will make it that much more personal, I think. And do like you did in kindergarten. You just outline your hand. So there's my outline. And now I'm gonna kind of darken it a bit. I'm using pencil, because I feel like that adds to the sort of antique look of this whole thing. All right, so now I'm gonna add some more lines on my hand, because this whole card is gonna be about reading the lines on my hand. It's telling the story of love. It's my arm and I always wear my Mr. Kate jewelry. I'm gonna give myself some bracelets. So now I'm ready to write in my lines and what they all mean. I'm gonna cheat it because it's my love card, so they're gonna say romantic things. And then I'm gonna write something along the lines of the book. I'm gonna do it really old school, parchment scroll style and roll it up. There's my Valentine's Day scroll. I'm gonna go deliver this to somebody. Wouldn't that be cute? If you just found this like sitting on your desk or something. I hope you love it. I hope you guys interpret it for yourself and do it for your loved one or loved ones. No judgment, there's plural. And happy Valentine's Day. I'll see you next time on Mr. Kate. Mr. Kate!